new this morning, a very, and we do mean very special guest joining us here on Wake Up Charlotte. Legendary country music star Garth Brooks joins us now ahead of his massive stadium tour. Good morning, Garth. Hey, good morning. How are you all? We are good. Thanks you uh, so much for being here. How does it feel to finally be touring and performing again, really after <sighs> shutdowns and the pandemic? It feels so good. And the great thing is people are showing up. That's that's a sweet thing because you're always worried after things shut down, are people going to come back? Uh, they set a record in Petco Park in San Diego last week. Just set a record. Uh, we'll be in Orlando this weekend. So it's fun to see people get out. But I got to tell you, I don't think it has anything to do with Garth Brooks. I think it has something to do with just being with people. That's where we kind of belong is together. So being outdoors, just singing with perfect strangers. It's a neat thing to sit there from the stage and watch and get to be a part of. I think you're being a bit humble <laughs> I, I know, there. I, I agree. It, I think it has a lot to do with Garth Brooks, but, but we appreciate it nonetheless. Um, so I asked folks on Twitter, name their favorite number one Garth Brooks song. And I mean, it was neck and neck, Garth. I mean, it was down to the wire. It was by a hair, but the <laughs> dance, the dance, Coming out on yes, top. Yes, that's my favorite. I mean, I'm a friends in low places kind of guy. <laughs> puts you in an automatic good mood. Uh, for folks, whether they're diehard or not, whether they've been to the show or not, what should they expect out of this stadium show? Oh, just total chaos, total stupidity at high volume. Yeah. It's the stupidest thing you've ever seen in your life. You're like and going, what is, what are these guys doing? We have had so much fun. Try to remember the seven guys that started this dream together in the late 80s, five of us will be on stage that night. So it's it's just, it's we're still a family and we all know each other inside and out. And basically all we come there to do is to hear you sing. <laughs> It'll be about halfway through the concert where people start catching on, wait a minute, this guy ain't doing nothing. We're doing all the work. And I'm like, that's right, baby. That's what makes these things so much fun. So we wanna know, do you have a favorite song to perform at these shows? Yeah, a favorite song live, and, and if you come to the show, you'll totally get it. It's calling Baton Rouge. I think just because it flies underneath the radar, people are there for the thunder, uh, for friends in low places. And then my personal favorite, way back off the first record, you said it, the dance. Mm. I, I'll never get tired of singing that song. There's something about that lyric. I didn't write it so I can say this. It's timeless. It is timeless, and Baton Rouge also won a lot of folks are writing in as well. Uh, we we wouldn't know because we're sort of a family here, and now you're sort of an honorary Wake Up Charlotte <laughs> cast member as well since you joined cast us. Cast member, uh, what? When, when you're a big deal. You're like a, like a superstar icon. So when you're not waking up talking to us on Wake Up Charlotte, what is your morning routine like? Oh, anything with Trisha Yearwood. It's like uh. it's like that's that's the main ingredient. So uh, if I'm lucky, the rest of my days I'll wake up at that moment uh, beside me. But yeah, people ask me. They say, hey, "Man, where do you eventually want to live when all this you know settles down?" And my answer is always, "Wherever that woman oh, is at, I she love makes." That. She makes great things better. Hey, I heard you You said your next tour, you may want to do a dive bar tour. We have a great one here called the Thirsty Beaver that Mick Jagger showed up to. I think there you need you to make that a stop here in Charlotte for you. There you go. First of all, first of all, I just need a T-shirt that says the Thirsty Beaver on it. Okay, let's that get him one. Awesome. We can do that. <laughs> let's send him one. There you go. I love it. Yes, count me in. Awesome. All right. Garth, Garth thank you so much. We can't wait to see you here in Charlotte, and thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. I love you guys. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for making me an honorary member. That's, that's right. Cool. Now yes. the newest cast member of Wake Up Charlotte. You heard it here <laughs> what first. What is cast member, <laughs> Ben? That's right. All right, Garth, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. And we have all the yeah. information on our website, wcnc.com. Tickets right. go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Now the only person who can follow Garth Brooks. <laughs> no. That's right, the legendary.